Hey guys, for today's video, we are uncovering some secrets, so prepare yourself as we are about to spill the tea, sis. So Spill the Thesis is a new bi-weekly program on my channel whereby we get to know more about the personal life of my friends. So I invite some of them over and ask them some personal and burning questions. They can either answer the questions or face the consequences. So now that you guys know how the game works, let's meet our first guest. And if you have been following my Instagram stories, you would already have known who he is. So let's welcome the food critic and fitness fanatic, Terence Koo. Welcome Hello. to Hi. the first episode okay. of Spill the Thesis. Oh, I'm so privileged, but why am I here? Oh, you are here because people find you interesting and we want to know more. And by the about way, I'm not, a, I'm not a fitness fanatic, okay? I just he exercise is. for my <laughs> health. I have definitely no gym. Really? Fitness instructor or whatever. You know, just 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 do it. Oh pace. Nobody wants to die or whatever. So yeah, please don't just die. Just because okay. you don't exercise doesn't mean I'm yeah, like health fanatic. Fortunately or unfortunately, you may have to answer some very personal but you know very triggering, burning questions. Yes. Uh, me and my team have prepared the questions. I've seen the questions and I think they did a pretty good job. Okay. Although I think it could be better because I'm just mean and evil when it comes to Terence Cole. She is mean. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to but now have a cup of tea first and uh, you relax much. yourself. Okay, cheers. Keep calm and spill the I'm tea. I'm perspiring already. Huh? <laughs> okay, here comes the interesting part. We'll let Terence choose the penalty card first. Okay, lucky draw. Let's see. Eat three raw eggs. I mean, eggs. oh yucks! That hey, but fitness gross. fanatics love to no, take I'm, raw eggs. Exactly, I'm not a fitness fanatic. This proves it. Okay. 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 Now for the questions. Oh, he chose one very. Don't let it be one. easy. What is the secret about Jamie you can share that will make her scream? So this is about her. It's not about me. Wow, that's easy. Why? But Should I'm I sitting get... here. Huh? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. okay. <laughs> um, I have to think very carefully about this because it has to be politically correct and I cannot afford to make her angry otherwise I won't be here, I won't have a home tonight so let's see No food, uh, no home, no love, no kisses, is it? no nothing um, I will crack them on your face if you make me mad <laughs> Actually, Jamie, you see, she is like all glamorous she like go around shopping and she buys a lot of stuff but deep inside, she's a cheap scream. <laughs> she screams, so I got it right. She is a cheap skin. <laughs> what do I mean by that? <laughs> she How will calculate. How am I a cheap <laughs> She will calculate every single cent. And like if I tell her, oh, this one costs twenty five dollars. What the hell? Why is it twenty five dollars? I mean, it's like relative, right? So she's a cheap skin. So for the next penalty, I'm going to reshuffle everything. Take a selfie of yourself on the toilet <laughs> and post it online. Oh my goodness. That's quite bad. Okay. You've eaten a lot of Michelin star restaurants. In your opinion, which of them is the worst? I think we feel the same way about a particular restaurant. But yeah. This is difficult because, yeah. you know, I have somewhere in mind, but you know, it's not very... Nice to spill tea. the tea. <laughs> yeah, but it was in San Sebastian. I mean, it was a very highly rated. It starts with A. Michelin star. Akalare. Wow, she said it. Okay, so yes. Well, it's so bad, man. The view is so good. <laughs> it's not very bad, but it's a beautiful restaurant. But it's beautiful. It's just that it was so highly rated. It was a three Michelin star restaurant. Unfortunately, the food uh, didn't quite match up with the views, uh, with the price. Oh, man. Create a commercial of a random item that's easy and not so embarrassing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Name a celebrity who has been rude to you in public. Ooh. Well, ding. Whoa, wait, hang on, hang okay. on, hang on. That was not him per se. Per se. A celebrity that was rude, rude to me to in, public. in public. I have to say, unfortunately, is um, Tom Cruise. We were in Paris and we were in this very nice restaurant um, and Tom Cruise walks in and he was seated right next to us 
Um, and it was, it was actually not his fault. I mean, he was with another companion having dinner. And, you know, I was taking out my phone and I was going to take a selfie and it just happened that Tom Cruise was behind me and I thought I could take a nice selfie with Tom Cruise. That would be quite cool. And before I could take that picture, someone shouted so loud that I dropped my phone. Whoa, stop that! I was like, <laughs> oh my God, who shouted in this nice classy restaurant? And it was actually Tom Cruise's bodyguard. I mean, there were two sort of like mm-hmm. his minders or bodyguards sitting next to us. And um, Tom Cruise didn't say a word, even though Just he heard continue. that, um, you know, this guy was shouting yeah. at me. And it made our whole dining experience so awful. Um, okay. And, you know... It was my favourite restaurant in Paris, yeah, and, unfortunately. And, and Jamie was with a friend. They loved Tom Cruise and they wanted to take a picture with him. But... After yeah. that, when the bodyguard shouted at me, I was like, you know, forget it. It would just ruin the whole experience. And I just felt disappointed that Tom Cruise didn't say anything, you know, that, you know, he should have said something about it, but he didn't. So yeah. that was my bad experience with a celebrity. Sometimes I couldn't understand why he would not want that to happen. Maybe he's particular about a certain angle like me. That's the only left profile. Give me a hard one. I give him a hard one. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Text the most <laughs> famous person in your contact a cheesy pickup line. Let's hope that happens. Who is someone Jamie is following that you wish she isn't? Ah. Hmm. This is not. He doesn't really know a lot of things about the she people I, I follow. Actually, I know a lot of people she follows. And but yeah, he doesn't know the background. Yeah, and, and obviously some people I don't like. So, but there I don't are. think I'm gonna say it. So, I think for the first time, I'm gonna do the dare. <laughs> so that's... <laughs> He's being politically correct, but then yes. I'm trying to get this out of him, actually, because I don't know who I'm following that he wished that I am not. Well, keep guessing there. because there are a lot of people. I'm going to DM a Singapore celebrity oh. with a pickup line. But try not um, to embarrass me also, la, huh? And that person oh. just came back to Singapore. Okay, so it's Sharon now. Alright, okay, yeah. so she's back. Um, she doesn't know that we're doing this. Messaging her now. Hi, Sharon. Singapore <clears throat> is missing you so much, and so am I. That's super <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> yeah, it's cheesy, right? Me be the bring you for a hot date soon. <laughs> yeah, that's very cheesy, man. I'm sorry, Sharon. Okay, I'm sorry, you... Sharon. Please don't puke. <laughs> yeah, please don't puke, and I hope you don't take me seriously. Okay, I mean. Okay. Okay, Sam. Oh God. Oh God. This is terrible. This is you terrible. Know, right? This is very terrible. Or she might think that someone stole my phone or, you know, it's my... I don't know, it's gonna be weird. But anyway, okay, let's see. Let's okay, see never happens. mind. What's let's done is done. She might not even answer, so okay, what, what's done is done. Brush your teeth with hot sauce. That, yes. I saw the hot sauce on the table already. I do it every day. Pick your doom. doom what bad. are the three things you hate about Jamie? <laughs> you even hate anything about me. You hate something no, about me. You no. hate something about me. Uh, there's, nothing I, there's nothing I hate about Jamie. I mean, she's very lovely, as you all know. Oh. How can you even find one thing to hate about her? Uh, three things is almost impossible. Okay, so let me see. Three Good things. Baby. Good baby. Three things I hate. Well, hate is such a strong yeah, word. Exactly. It's a very strong word. It's like what I reserve for my enemy and my like nemesis is like. Oh, I don't hate anything about Jamie, so okay, yeah, I'm gonna brush my teeth with hot sauce, I think. Yeah. Okay! Choose a penalty. Ooh. Dunk your face in an ice bowl. Okay, alright. Let's see. Okay, pick your question. What is the most embarrassing travel story with Jamie? I think he has a lot. <laughs> Okay, so an embarrassing travel moment with Jamie. Okay, as you all know, Jamie loves to take photos regardless of the setting, regardless of the time, the situation, the day, the people around. When we went to South Africa, we went on a safari. So when we got to, you know, to see the first lion, and obviously when the jeep went close, the safari guide said, you know, you guys, please keep still. 
no standing on the jeep, no sudden movements, no loud voices, talking, talking yeah. shouting, screaming or whatever. And then Jamie whispers to me, hey, quickly get your camera out. No, I need to get this seat. picture. <laughs> Firstly, yeah, okay, camera, camera out first. And then she said, we need to change seat. I said, why? She said, you're nearer to the Black Lion. So I said, but we can't move. And she said, I don't care. You better move right now because I need to get that shot. So we had to, I had no choice, I had to gingerly stand, to stand up. And the guide was looking at me I, and she was looking, I thought I said, no movement. I said, sorry, I can't. It's, it's either the alliance eats me or Jamie eats me. So I think I'd rather <laughs> Jamie eats me. And then we had to change places. And Jamie had to sit right at the edge of the Jeep just to get the shot instead of sitting in the Jeep, risking her life. And it was kind of embarrassing because it's like these Singaporeans really cannot obey the rules that we have set for them, you Oops. know, and it's like risking everybody's lives. And when she did that, I, she said, hurry up, take the camera and shoot. I had to shoot and, you know, with my camera, there was a bit of clicking sound and everything. And the lion got agitated and the lion started roaring. So like, <laughs> shit. Oh my God. And yeah. she straight away went back into the Jeep and like, and then the guide said, Jamie. The next time. <laughs> the next time, stand yeah, up. you stand up. We are really going to drive home and leave you with the lion to feed on you. So, oh, yeah, no. it was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, she it doesn't even... Kind of Listen to instructions. <laughs> I like to live dangerously, guys. Take a ginger shot. That's not too bad. Are you sure? Wow, it's terrible. Come on. Who can drink this? So, uh, wow. Guys, the person who did this is not a shot. How is this a shot? Question. I think I've got to. You've met and encountered celebrities and famous personalities. Which of them do you like the least and why? You know, frankly speaking, guys, I mean, I, I really don't dislike a lot of people. And uh, in fact, celebrities, I've been very fortunate. They're all very nice. I can't think of really any celebrity that is has been, that I really dislike. Besides the Tom Cruise incident, you know, which I I did not meet him, so I don't think that counts. He's going to drink it. Is ginger bad for you or is it good? Why, why die from drinking this? No, it'll just be very hot. And today it's like 36 degrees, damn hot. Oh my God. Ah. My oh, mouth is burning. Okay, man. That's it. Okay. okay. Oh, God. Uh, uh, I feel sick That was for horrible. You. I, you Don't ever bad. invite me on a show again. Oh, my God. Oh, that was bad. Oh. No, this is the same one. I don't want this one. <laughs> <laughs> I got the raw onion one again. No way. You cannot. You have to. You Can you imagine you get the raw onion It's the times? same. I get all this nonsense. Three raw eggs again. Like, what the hell? Do you sincerely enjoy taking photos of Jamie all the time? Guys, let me tell you, this whole circuit breaker, lockdown, whatever you call it, he hasn't taken one photo for me, okay? Not one photo. Okay. Useless. So do I sincerely enjoy taking photos of Jamie? Absolutely. Why? Number one, I enjoy photography. Number two, she's a very good subject. Yeah, there's certain times where it's a bit testing. She tends to want to take 1,000 before she chooses No la, why well, got 1,000? Okay la, at least a few hundred, you know, so no sometimes... No way! Yeah. He's a uh. very difficult photographer, okay? He takes three shots and then he said, I got it. Yeah, because I'm good. Right. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you guys had fun. We've come to the end of the show and it has been very um, entertaining for me. I hope it's as entertaining for you as it is for the two of us, but now... <laughs> Terence is going to have to brush his teeth oh, brush. with the hot oh sauce. Oh okay, we saved it for the end of the program because we don't want him to be not able to answer the rest of the questions oh, and um, brush it good. Brush it. Mmm, that's good. Yeah. Let's try it. Oh, oh, oh. It's super hot. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Oh, I'm going crazy. Ooh, it's super oh, hot. I tell you one drop of this, right? Why are you putting my water? I just water? up a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's super tea. hot. Oh my god, I'm burning. It is warm. This tea is hot, hot also. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's making it hot. doubly hot. It's warm. But it's burning so much. It's super hot. So guys, please I'm give burning. him a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of Spill the Tea Sis.